Well, it's that time of the year where I get the urge to throw out everything I own and restart. So here we are. I'm gonna bring y'all along just so you get a little insight to how an environmentalist gets rid of things. And let me first and foremost say, I collect a lot of things, probably more so than the average person. I blame it on lots of joy is brought to me through tangible items. <sighs> there's just so much clutter. I have so much clutter. And there's no better time in the summertime while I'm like not full-time working and I'm not doing full-time school. So let me first show you what I've started with. This is all scrap fabric and like fabric projects that I'm just gonna donate, get rid of. This is my sewing machine that you guys saw me fight with for way too long just deciding that i don't have any like desire to design and put together pieces of clothing so i'm gonna sell it i'm gonna get rid of it i need the space i don't use it it's depressing me because it reminds me of my failures it's gotta go i ordered a thread up clear out kit which if y'all saw my instagram i'm doing that now so this is actually a massive bag so i'm really grateful for that and then I have this bag of clothes here, also this one here that needs to go. So I'm just gonna sit and clear things out and make a video out of it because why not? I feel like it is a little useful to see how you can responsibly dispose of things or clear things out. So obviously like selling is an option, donating is an option. I might list a few things on like my buy nothing project, Facebook group and see who takes what. But let's just get this going because I'm stressed to a degree that's like, <sighs> unnecessary isn't the word but it's like i don't understand where the stress suddenly came from but i just am realizing like i just own so many things i just want to get rid of my things and i think i'm at a point where i can let them go because they no longer serve a purpose i actually ordered two different clear out kits one is for consignment and one is for donation so i'm gonna go through these bags and figure out what i want to like donate like this is something that's brandless that probably wouldn't get any resale value but then i have a few like this is a brandy melville shirt that might give me like a dollar so why not put that in the consignment pile mostly what's happened is like i truly just want clothes that fit me well and i'm realizing like this happens to me all the time i just have like really shit fitting clothing my body yes is always ever-changing as all of ours are but like though it's astounding to me how long i've gone of just wearing ill-fitting clothing and being like why don't i look good in anything i own I'm like huh maybe this is why and i'm also just finally gonna take all this stuff off my depop why have i kept this sock monkey onesie for like almost a decade there's just no reason donate 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 all donations hopefully it all fits in the <laughs> bag i actually saw that madewell does give you 20 dollars off a pair of jeans if you bring them in so i'm gonna bring these in and get a better fitting pair of jeans because i bought these a size 26 and they very quickly stretch to be like way larger than that and they stopped fitting me very well very cute i will say the mom jean but stopped fitting me the way i really enjoyed most of these things are donations not gonna lie there's not gonna be much to actually consign oh yes i finally did it and went through my t-shirts yeah i'm ready to let these go actually maybe not maybe not this one wow i feel really good about that so donation pile um hopefully it fits Wow, hand for scale, that's massive. I'm really impressed I was able to fit everything in here. Massive parcel for USPS to pick up. I feel really good about this, y'all. You have no idea how long some of this stuff has been sitting. Let us just get really meta really quickly because I feel like I'm having this kind of like identity crisis a little bit where I obviously just graduated college like I'm done with classes I'm not gonna have another college assignment until like I go back now I'm sitting here like in this state of like obviously clearing old things out but then at the same time wondering like what I want to take on and as I was packing these clothes away I was just having this like kind of introspective moment of like do i wear clothes that don't fit because of how i was raised like i'm in the middle child between two 
brothers and would always hang out with like my brothers and their friends and then it wasn't until I was like growing older and like making girlfriends of my own that I would start to dress like a little bit more girly or pay more attention to like fashion and trends and then I'm thinking like is it because I grew up in like a more conservative area and I'm wearing things that are like tight fitting is like oh you're asking for attention or you're asking to be like cat called or you know harassed essentially which like now that i'm older obviously that's not the case whatsoever you should never be harassed simply on the basis of like what you chose to wear that day like that was a thought in my brain but not something i've like processed and brought to my conscious thinking i mean like well maybe i actually don't dress flattering because i don't want to be harassed and like it, living in new york like that's gonna happen like when I dress nicer I get harassed and it's just like okay I don't really love that but at the same time like I also want to feel good comfortable and confident in what I wear on the day-to-day -day. so I think I've been like slowly tuning back into like the feminine side of me and like the softer side and dressing for that like I mean my clothing rack here is like really done 180 from the things I used to wear before like lacking color lacking shape oversized was my style and I think that was like a very protective sense but I don't know this tangent may not make any sense to you whatsoever but for me I feel like by getting rid of these like ill-fitting clothing pieces that are just like draining my space and my energy I can like move on and accept the feminine parts of me that like People are threatened by femininity because it is so divine and contains so much, but at the same time, like, I can still bask in that and really enjoy that part of me without feeling a type of way. That's my spiel for today. That felt like I needed to talk about that. So if you have ever felt the same way, like maybe you've dressed as a protection method and now you're kind of like shedding that old skin, that's how I feel. I feel like I'm shedding this old skin of mine of being like, okay, I'm gonna dress disgustingly so people leave me alone. And now I'm at the point where it's like, I don't want people to leave me alone because I can stand up for myself now. So I think that's what I'm trying to articulate. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. And um, let's move on to another portion of things to get rid of. I should donate this belt. I forgot. I think I'm gonna move on to my desk. That's scary. Okay, but let's do it. I'm having second thoughts about doing my desk right now because it's just a lot of personal information in there. I think next time I turn this camera back on because I just kind of lost a little bit of steam, I'm gonna do either my bookshelf or the desk. Okay guys, so with any thoughtful disposal or recycling, you're gonna have to do a little bit of research. So I'm on the search for textile scrap recycling because I actually have a bag of clothes that I could have sworn I was gonna repair and turn into some sustainable design which i'm not a designer so that never happened so i'm gonna be doing a little bit of recon i also have a thread up border to return i just really did not like the way these pieces fit on me so those are going back i'm gonna get some money back someone else might buy them who knows as for some books that i want to get rid of i know there's a literature library by work so i'm gonna bring those there comment down below what you guys do for old school notebooks like your notes and stuff for college high school whatever whatever i am just a little unsure if I want to completely throw them away or what. So good news, I found the same place I drop off my compost is actually going to be able to take my textiles. So check on that. That is the wearable collections, clothing and shoes reuse, but it's not only just clothing, but textiles as well. So it's really great. So I have a place for my textiles. I have a place to drop off books that I just know I'm not going to read. I just have to do my return now and let's do that. So unfortunately, these each each piece has a $2 return fee, which is all right. Uh, I don't mind paying that because I'm just not gonna wear these pieces. So print a free label, refund and thread up shopping credit. Or do I want like a refund refund and pay like $5? So I'd be paying four plus another five, $10 out of like the 40 I paid for these tops or do I just pay four dollars and get refund credit honestly i know i'm gonna be shopping from thread up again so maybe i just like print the free shipping label return done guys i feel great i'm clearing out all this material waste that i just like shouldn't hang on to but i do because i want to do it responsibly feel good all right friends today is the day of action i 
collected everything, everything's ready to go, and now I'm finally gonna get it out of my life. So I'm doing compost and textiles today. I'm going to bike to the farmer's market. Hopefully it's like not too much stuff to carry, but we're gonna do that. Also, I remembered that I have like a parade give back recycling thing. So I have like a few pairs of underwear to like pack away and I'm gonna bring that with my thread up stuff to return. That's gonna give me like a discount on Parade. Also, if you guys wanna shop Parade, I have a code, so like leave it here. They've got great sustainable basics, so I love them for that. Post office, green market, green market. I'm ready for all of this to be out of my space, out of my life, cleaning my energy. I'm actually gonna take a bus because I do feel like I will fall off a bike if I try to carry all this stuff with me. Also, um, if you're in New York City or anywhere, I guess this is like a national thing and you're on food stamps like EBT SNAP benefits, you can actually get City Bike for $5 a month and you get free unlimited rides, I think for up to like 45 minutes. The only thing is if you take an e-bike, it's like 42 cents per minute. I was gonna show y'all what I got from the farmer's market, but the post office closes at one. So I actually have to head out like right now because it's like 12.15 and I have a feeling I'm gonna be there for like a long-ish time. But while I, you know, have the camera on, I'm gonna pack up my parade give back bag. So basically online, all you do is like request that you want a recycling bag and they send it to you with the bag and the shipping label. Pack any unwanted clean underwear, use the label to ship and you get parade credit. I have about four pairs that are just like actually falling apart, but it's a really nice way to just recycle things. You know, I really love that companies are like on the take back trend because I think that to me is super sustainable. Like if you're offering like a discount, we'll take your old clothes and stuff. Yeah, so thanks for giving your underwear a second life. Off to the post office with me and 7,000 huge packages. Guys, I made it. I made it to the post office before they close. I'm absolutely dripping and drenched in sweat though. Also, you know what? I'm not gonna show you what I got from the farmer's market because that's just not what this video is, sorry. If you guys want me to vlog like a weekend, let me know and that's when I would do that sort of thing. But anywho, I've dropped off everything. The only thing left that I'm really hanging on to are some like extra books. So I'm gonna go through my shelf, pick out a few books and put them in one of those like little lending library things but i feel great i feel cleared i feel clean i feel like i've disposed of these things responsibly and that's what this video is all about but there's more yes there is more i have been holding on to this bag a whole bag of empty cosmetic things so i might take that to the ordinary because they have like a drop-off store i have a bunch of like empty lush tents i'm really on my cleansing clearing shit and just like leveling up you know because you can't level up you can't grow if you're like holding on to the past and holding on to like all sorts of shit so if you don't know lush has a deal where if you like have five of these you can trade in for a free face mask so i think i'm gonna do that wow this is this is next level stuff wow my bed just, just broke. That's okay. I'm gonna go through my bookshelf, see what I want, what I don't want. Off the bat, I have a few duplicate copies. This is one I think I have a duplicate copy. This Florence book, I think I'm gonna get rid of. There's just no need for me to keep it. I got it um, before I went to Florence for the summer and like was very inspired but I don't need it. Plato, Protagoras and Mino. Yeah, I'm not gonna read that. Henry V, part one, Shakespeare classic, not gonna read it. It's five books to put to the library, so I'm gonna go take a walk around the block and just see if I can find any of those little lending libraries. I know I'm supposed to be getting rid of books, but I found this one. 
and I think I'm gonna take it with me just so I can have like some things to say to environmental skeptics. Look at what it is. I gotta say, shout out Charles for the intel. It's a library. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. And it's a little empty too, so I get to fill it up a little bit. Oh God. The boy in the striped pajamas. Honestly, middle school trauma. I love walks around the block. I found my community garden, like hell yeah. So I'm gonna go in, check it out after dropping off some books. Oh, and there's another library thing here. See, this is all great. Look, how amazing. Um, and this is what I'm talking about, littlefreelibrary.org. I guess they send you a box, but a lot of books here. Maybe I'll take another one. Well, I got rid of five books and I only picked up three. <laughs> I got like the climate change one. I got how to kill a city. So it's about gentrification and another climate change one, the sixth extinction. I only grabbed this one because I think I've heard of it before and a lot of like climate activists have recommended it. So excited to read that. But you know, I feel like I'm gonna bring these back to the library when I finally eventually finish reading them. So it's all circular. That's what these libraries are for, okay? Don't yell at me. I know. I was getting rid of things and I grabbed more. I just wanted to give y'all a quick look at the empties that I'm bringing. I mean, some of this stuff I've even, like, cut open. But they take all of this. They take glass. They take bottles. They take all sorts of, like, tubes and stuff. I just cannot fathom all this plastic, like, ending up in a landfill and just not being properly recycled. So, shout out to The Ordinary for doing the damn thing. Cause like, I feel like Sephora and Ulta should get on that too. We all like run out of makeup and use it up. And it just so happens like I'm fortunate enough to live in a city that does have an in-person kind of like take back thing. But yeah, not everywhere has that. So I feel like if we push like Sephora, Ulta, Target even to have like empty take backs, like that would just divert so much waste. And it would just be like, okay, well, I'm going to Ulta. I do that once a month anyway. Let me take some empties with me. Food for thought. That's it? Yeah, and also I was gonna get a serum. Did you have an idea of the face mask you wanted to uh, yes. cosmetic yes. for you? I'm gonna get that for you. Yeah. Anything else you needed help with today? No, thank you. That's gonna be it. Oh, this is it. I was like, yeah. this is nothing cold. <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. Did you need a shopping bag for this one? Yeah, that is okay. Okay. Are you going to email our receipt for that? That's all right. Thank you. There you go. Have thank a good you. weekend. Look at how it's do wonders for bangs. All right, y'all. That's gonna be the end of this video. You got to see firsthand how an environmentalist gets rid of shit and none of it which went to landfill which i feel very proud about so it just takes a little bit more time effort and thought into what you're doing with the things that you own so they don't end up just straight up in the trash or fully incinerated just a little bit of mindfulness goes a really long way i was able to donate and get rid of clothes get like points for them and be able to shop later like cosmetics at the ordinary so it's worth looking into if like somewhere around you does that i got a free mask from lush for giving in five tens got rid of some books got some books you know so there are ways to divert your waste stream and that's all this video is about so yes i was sweaty yes i stressed a little little tiny bit but for me it was worth it good peace of mind being like this is what being an environmentalist kind of is it's like you do put that thought and you do put that effort into making sure your waste isn't just straight up trash like it can be reused and recycled that's going to be all for today's video if you liked this don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you want to keep up with me on a more day-to-day -day basis i have an instagram at earth or nothing same as my youtube channel you can follow me there i will catch y'all in my next video until then don't forget to be kind to yourself others and the planet i love you so very much and i'll catch y'all next time bye